Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing my top 10 episode, um, and it'll be on the new Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Um, so let's get straight into it with my first honourable mention. Now, there's only 20 episodes in this series, so it's very, very hard to rank them when you've got 8, 9 weird type episodes. But um, I really, really hope this is a good ranking to you, um, because it's definitely a lot different to the one that I ranked about two, three weeks ago now. Um, my first honourable mention uh, goes to uh, the Scooby Dooby Doo A Doo. Um, this one is a lot higher than what it was a week ago um, because I actually watched this episode straight after I after the video came out and I enjoyed it. I don't remember it at all um, before that because I've watched the new Scooby Doo Mysteries tons of times. Uh, but this episode probably the least, and I never remembered it. Uh, but that was just so great. Uh, the Scooby Dooby Doo a Doo goes in my top thirteen. So um, I kind of feel bad though because I kind of want to do an updated version of that that episodes already. But you probably won't see them until at least next year or the year after. Um, because there's no point doing an updated version because they never change a lot in most series. But that one's changed the most. I think it's ever changed before. Um, just sneaking in for an honourable mention. My second honourable mention is uh, the Stony Glare Stare, which has not moved a muscle from when I ranked it. Um, not a bad episode as well. I really, really enjoyed uh, the whole Professor Miko's turning to stone, but he actually didn't turn to stone, and there was a lot of fun elements as well with um, Vladius Vim, the villain. I don't know if that's his name or not, um, but I quite liked him. Um, he's also appeared in Scooby-Doo and the Cyclops too um, in that episode um, in the new Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo show. Um, my third and final honourable mention is Scooby's Peephole Pandemonium. And just like the scooby doo a do, it's gone up a long, long way. Because I watched this episode just the other day, and boy, it astounded me. It was fantastic for a short episode. For a ten-minute short episode, they did their best in that episode, and they did it to perfection. I really, really like it. Um, just missing out in the top ten, though. And... Coming in at 10th as well is, can't, is a, a scary duel with a cartoon ghoul, um, which is another episode that had great use of its runtime. Um, yeah, overall it's not as good as Scooby's Peephole Pandemonium, but at least it had a good monster. Um, you always need a good monster. Uh, coming in at 9th is Doom Service. Um, also not really moving a muscle from last time I watched it. Uh, it's definitely doing well um but it's the ghost it's that's really puts it in this position the ghost is one of the better ghosts from this series um the episode isn't amazing but it's still fun enough coming in at eight spot is a code in the nose i can't believe this episode's an eighth uh because it's actually pretty good i didn't mind it it's got a lot of fun elements in it and i rank it highly um i recommend it as well um Coming in at 7th spot is Showboat Scooby. This one was more of a fun one um, than scary, but it did have a pretty creepy ghost as well, and it did get creepy in some parts of the episode. Um, coming in at 6th place is the Scooby or Not Scooby, um, which you can actually get now on DVD called Favourite Frights. A uh, very, very good episode for a 10-minute episode. Um, packed a lot into it. Because when I watched it, I felt like it went longer than 10 minutes, but that's just me. You know, they packed in the ghost of Hamlet, um, being a good guy, and the sea demons. I thought that was quite nice as well. Um, coming in at fifth place is the first of the top five um, uh, part two episodes for this series. Um, you may have noticed that one of them, the ghost of the ancient astronauts, didn't even make the top 13. Um because I remember it now. I didn't even remember it last time, and I just put it in there because I remember it being a part two. But now I've watched it and remembered it. It's not that great as I thought it was. Um, but in fifth place is Sherlock Do. Um, exactly the same um, spot for this episode. Um, since last time I 
ranked these, um, and <clears throat> the ghost is good, um, the mystery is good, um, I like how the gang get blamed for what the ghost was up to, and it was quite nice, um, in the fourth spot, uh, we have Happy Birthday Scooby-Doo, um, this episode's a fan favourite from this series, it's not my favourite to be honest, um, the Red Skull is pretty memorable to the series, uh, and the birthday thing is pretty good as well, but Scrappy is a bit annoying in this episode, um, and I like how they frame Fred and, uh, try and kill Scooby, um, in third spot is the Halloween Hassle at Dracula's Castle, this is a pretty good one, um, I like the ghost of Dr. Van Helsing, I like the fact that it had some real monsters explored in it as well, um, which is, which I thought was quite nice as well, um, having some real monsters in it, um, and I thought the gang being there with them was quite fun, and in second place is the Night Louse at the White House, this one only fe featured Velma, um, in Sherlock Do only features Fred, in Happy Birthday you get both of them, in Halloween Hassle you get both of them, um, in the Night Louse at the White House you only get Velma, and in the Nutcracker you get Fred, uh, but in the Night Louse at the White House, I love this episode, it's so great, um, from this series, and it's gone up a lot since I last watched it, I've watched like three times in the past week, it's actually quite fun, um, and I really, really like all the ghosts and every, every thing apart uh, about that episode. My top episode, though, is The Nutcracker Scoob. My review is on the channel already. It's doing not so well, um, which is a bit annoying. But go check that out now if you haven't checked it out. Because this is a great episode. I love it. Um, and it's so fun to watch around Christmas. Definitely the best from this series. Um... So, yeah, hopefully you agree with me. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more videos coming out on the channel. Um, but first, uh, we'll see you guys next time.